Hello, it's 2.30 in the morning. Welcome to the Storm Update. We're going to take a look at the latest observations and radar and stuff like that across the area, as well as the power outage situation. Uh, first, we're going to start with the observations, because we have some pretty remarkable wind speeds here. 63 mile an hour wind gusts at Lakehurst. 62 degrees there with a dew point of 62. South wind to 33, gusting to 63 miles an hour. So that's pretty impressive right there. 58 degrees at Seagirt. Dew point also 58. Uh, and the southeast wind at 41, gusting to 59 miles an hour. Uh, so the winds have really picked up in New Jersey, and this is going to be moving into our area. We're starting to see some of the stronger winds here. We've got a 59 mile an hour wind gust at LaGuardia Airport, uh, 63 with a dew point of 57, uh, 35 mile an hour wind gust at Carl Place, a, f uh, a 41 mile an hour wind gust at Farmingdale, and right at the beach there, 43 mile an hour wind gust. Uh, and the 39 mile an hour wind gust at Islip again. Temperatures extremely warm, extremely humid conditions out there. Uh, very unusual to see this kind of warmth and humidity, especially on Christmas Eve. Uh, it certainly doesn't feel like Christmas Eve uh, with this tropical storm like situation raging out there right now across the area. Um, let's go look at the power outage map. Let's go look at, uh, and we'll start with New Jersey because. Right now, it went down a little bit, 69,590. Uh, Ocean Cam Monmouth has nearly almost 10,000 ounces. Now, Monmouth's getting hit hard. Burlington, 7,541. Salem, 2,879. 102,878. Morris, 6,252. Bergen County has a lot of outages now, 12,530. You've got to remember, those areas have more snow on the ground, so there's going to be more flooding from the rain. It's going to be easier to uproot the trees. Uh, New York has 55,418 outages right now. Putnam County, 7,599. Uh, Suffolk, 1,212. And Nassau, 3,466. 3, uh, and the city got some outages too in the Bronx. And Staten Island, 3,176. And Putnam County, nearly 8,000 outages. So. Uh, let's take a look at the latest outage map here. It has gone down a little bit, 3,977. Yes, you see there's a power outage in Mineola. It's the north part of Mineola, north of Jericho Turnpike, even though this map is misleading. I, I went out and I looked and I saw it was in the north part of, Jer of Mineola. So uh, there's a power outage there. Uh, that's affecting 1,582, saying an estimated restoration of 9 a.m. for that area. Uh, and then we have an, old, an outage in Old Westbury as well. We have outages up on the North Shore, not surprisingly. Laddingtown, Locust Valley, uh, parts of Bayville, Lane Cove, small ones in Seacliff, Port Washington, Great Neck, um, um, in Nassau County. As we head a little further south, you see some small ones in Levittown. Not surprisingly, hardly any power outages on the South Shore. Nothing in Merrick, Belmore, Wontaw, Massapequa. They're all sitting pretty without any major power outages. There's only one that I can find on the South Shore that's in Cedarhurst. And uh, uh, that's affecting 70 people. Uh, so uh, that's, uh, as we go into Suffolk County, we'll go ahead and look at Suffolk County here on the outage map as well. Uh, see some outages on the North Shore. Uh, looks like there's one in Huntington Bay. Uh, so there's some in Huntington. Uh, as we go further out to Suffolk, not as many outages. I don't think they've experienced the worst of the winds yet. So I think that's why we're not seeing too many outages out there. Um, let's go to JCP and L. And we're going to go to JCP and L right now. 44,943 power outages. Uh, there's some around Tom's River, some smaller ones. Uh, let's see here. Looks like there's. These are all smaller ones around Tom's River. So it doesn't look like Ocean County has too many outages. It gets worse, it's worse as you head further north um, into Monmouth County. You start seeing some around uh, Howell Township, uh, Lakewood, uh, Point Pleasant Beach. Uh, as we get further into Monmouth County, you start seeing some more coming up here in the central Jersey area uh, around Old Bridge, Eatontown. Um, some of these areas here, Holmdel, uh, there's a bunch around here too as well, around this area here, which is Marlboro, 
Uh, so uh, you definitely have some outages in uh, Jersey, uh, Central Jersey, getting hit pretty hard with these outages right now. Um, let's look at the radar. Um, we'll use the National Weather Service radar site, I guess. And they also have latest wind gust reports. So this is the radar here. Go ahead and look at the radar, look at some observations. Um, we'll just use the National Weather Service website already. Even though it kind of sucks. And it takes forever to load. Uh, this is... See, it just takes forever to load. Look at this. It's just unbelievable. Miss the old radar. You can see some heavy showers uh, that are uh, moving through the area. It looks like we get a little bit of a break. See, there's some heavy showers over New York City. A little bit of a break over New Jersey. Uh, and then the, I think that's it. I don't have any more. I don't know where that squall line went. Uh, there was a squall line, but I guess it just disappeared. Let me check the AccuWeather radar and see if it's... Uh, I don't know where that squall line went. Um, there was a squall line, but maybe it weakened. But it might... Models indicate it might actually, like I said, um, from again. Um, let's look at this radar here and see. Get a better look at this and see what's going on here. I know it's a pain without the... Now, the squall line is still there. See what I mean? The weather service radar is just... All, there it is. I see it. It's over Philadelphia now. It's all full of the weather service radar. You can't use it. So it's like it doesn't show intensity properly. So uh, you can see there's a heavy cell. It's south of New York City, another one uh, south of Islip. There's a whole slug of rain off to the south. And then you got this a squall line that's over Philadelphia. That's where the front is. So we have to wait for that to move through. We'll uh, take a look at uh, put this into motion here, and you'll see. We're going to have to deal with all this rain coming through right now. Uh, that we're going to have to deal with. And, and, of course, it's not loading. So what else is new? Let's... Come on. And we don't have the rest of it. All right. Well, you get the idea of what's happening. Uh, again, I do apologize. The radars, the weather service ruined the radar system. <laughs> it's awful. I wish they would just go over to a different, to go back to the system they had or whatever, because right now it's just awful. Um, let's look at the latest wind gust reports. They do have a, a wind gust reports here. Again, we're in a high wind warning, so... All right now, the strongest winds I could find, Kew Garden Sills in Queens, 51 miles an hour. Suffolk County, Eaton's Neck, 47 miles an hour. Uh, this was as of 9.22 p.m., so that's an old. I'm sure we'll have much more information on that. And, and again, there's a look at the radar. So it doesn't look too bad on that one. Um, but uh, looking at some of these observations, again, it's just ridiculous how warm it is out there. Uh, Farmingdale, 59. <laughs> South wind at 31, gusting near 41, dew point 57. Uh, it's the kind of disgusting warmth we're dealing with tonight. It's just tropical. It's just tropical. Um, and it's even worse in New Jersey. 63 at Mount Holly. Heavy rain. Um, and 60 degrees in uh, Tom's River. South, uh, 2.59. South wind at 25. Gusting to 48. Uh, so this is uh, what we're dealing with here. This very strong low-level jet. Their high wind warning expires at 7 a.m. in Tom's River. Ours goes to 10 a.m. Uh, and the numbers of outages are starting to increase on Long Island, not surprising, as we're dealing with more and more of this uh, storm, and we're dealing with more and more of the winds uh, that we are dealing with. Let's see if the railroad is fixed. Uh, I think they fixed that problem on the Hempstead line. No problems to report there. Um, uh, we can look at... Uh, I'm not going to look at any cameras. So uh, that's going to be it for this update on the storm again. Uh, the winds are picking up across the area. We're starting to see power go out across Long Island from west to east uh, and uh, it's only going to get worse the next couple of hours like I said we're in the heart of the storm now between now and sunrise it's going to be a really rough go of it so uh, we'll try to keep you posted on things as long as I can hopefully I don't lose power it looks like a 62 mile an hour wind gust now reported in Island Heights in Tom's River so this and, and another 62 mile an hour wind gust at Seagirt so these are the kind of winds we're dealing with oh yes I want to check the buoys Almost forgot. Let's see what the latest information is on this buoy here. As far as the waves go here, uh, wave height 11.5 feet was the last reading at 10.50. So uh, uh, waves are picking up. I'm sure there's going to be some flooding on the south shore. But they don't lose power because, again, they've got, the, they've got a decent power system on the south shore, whereas the middle of the island and the north shore, it, we just have too many old poles. We need new poles. And we need better infrastructure, but we all know it's all about the South Shore. So that's going to be it for this update. Take care and thanks for watching.